Hey, good day. It's Doug Williams here. If my uh, class is learning to work like a mathematician, then the first thing I need is to find problems that I can interest the kids in. And the reason for that is quite simply that's the work of a mathematician. Getting interested in problems. Hmm. So problems like this little one maybe. This is Eric the sheep and Eric's standing in a long line of sheep waiting to be shorn but he doesn't want to stand in the long line wait his turn so each time the shearer takes one from the front Eric sneaks past two sheep. And in this case, starting with nine in front of Eric, three of them were shorn before Eric got to the front. And when I did it with four, Two of them were shorn before Eric got to the front. And when I did it with seven, three of them were shorn before Eric got to the front. So I'm playing around with this problem like a mathematician would and collecting data about it. And I think I need a little bit more data to be able to answer the question, if I tell you any number of sheep in front of Eric, can you tell me how many will be shorn before Eric gets to the front? Let's try that one, get a little bit more data. So the shearer has to take one and Eric has to sneak past two and the shearer is cutting this one and Eric sneaks past two and then that one, and Eric sneaks past two. And then this one, and Eric sneaks past two. And then that one, and Eric sneaks past two. So there was this many cut before Eric got to the front, which is five. And it started out with 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 in front of Eric. So now I've got another piece of data. And if I'm a mathematician collecting data, I'm doing it, hopefully looking for some pattern or connection. And I'm not going to find one quite quite possibly, unless I organise my data first. So uh, maybe i better look at this again. So if I was to reorganise that, there'd be the four, and there's one, two, three there that I missed, uh, five, six, seven, oh, now I feel like I'm working like a mathematician breaking the big problem of any number up into parts to see what happens. Eight, nine, and I've got some data. Four is two, nine is three, seven is three. Ah, I wonder what eight would be. Prediction might be three. Let's see, two, four, six, eight. Okay, so eight, we've got one Sean and Eric jumps two. Two Sean and Eric dump, jumps three. Three Sean and Eric jumps again. And that's three all together for eight. And the data starts to look interesting. Are my class interested? 
and what are the things that have captured their interest. And when we do follow this through, perhaps there's some sort of pattern might develop here, which will allow us to predict for any number. So why don't you go and have a look at that problem? We call it Eric the Sheep. And when you've had a look at it yourself, you might like to see what kids have done with it, kids who are learning to work like a mathematician. And if you go to the Mathematics Centre website, you'll find for task 45, Eric the Sheep, work from year one, year two, year five, and year 10, all from classes where the kids have been hooked on this problem and continue to work like a mathematician, finding patterns, making hypotheses, checking hypotheses, asking what else could be learned, and then publishing their work. See ya.